the 787 came about because of customer demand. And, and the customer demand was, we had a whole bunch of different types of planes we could have built. We could have built a plane that was the next generation uh, of the Concorde. You know, the Concorde only carried 100 passengers. It, it was never an economical success. It didn't carry enough people, very expensive. We could have built a plane that went, you know, Mach 2.0. Four carried 300 passengers. That was called the high-speed civil transport. We could have built a plane that was uh, called the Sonic Cruiser, which flew close to the speed of sound. We could have built a plane that was super efficient. We, what we typically do is we take all, we have all these concept studies going on continuously, and then we, we take those and we discuss them with our customers, you know, in this case, the airlines, and we say, what do you need to make your business a success? Most of the airlines, when we came out with you know, this range of planes, said they wanted something super efficient. The Phantom Eye is a, a hydrogen power airplane. It's got two uh, Ford Fusion truck engines powering each propeller, uh, but the, it's pure hydrogen, so zero emissions. Um, and it, it flies for four days without landing. And, and so what we learned from that is how do you handle hydrogen uh, can we use hydrogen for an auxiliary power unit that you would use on the ground? Can we use hydrogen eventually as a fuel for a commercial airline? So, so it's all about combining technologies and learning. The other thing that that plane does is it, it investigates uh, the shape of blending the tube and the wing together into a single structure because that can reduce the drag by another 30%. So uh, again, more fuel efficient. We're interested in being a catalyst for the industry because we are convinced that sustainable biofuels can provide a way to reduce the amount of CO2 by between 60 and 80% on an airplane. And when I say sustainable, we're talking about biofuels that don't require land that you grow food on, that don't require water that you can drink, that, that use marginalized land, uh, undrinkable water, where you, can, where you can create an economy in a community that has nothing, and everybody can win. People, people that have uh, poor economic circumstances can be brought up. You know, th there's probably 80% uh, of the uh, fuel around the world goes through 80, 75 airports. And, and so by, by having a variety of feedstocks, whether they're, you know, salt grasses or hetropha or or uh, algae, by having a variety of sources around the world, we really do believe that by, uh, say, 2030, 30% 30 of, all, of all airplane fuel can be powered by, by sustainable biofuels.